Uh, it took like an hour and a half to drill all these stupid holes. But two, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know how long it actually took. But anyway, got it all together. Just gonna tighten some bolts. On the side of the motor, it's got four spots where there are screws going into the electromagnets that are in the housing. And when I got the motor, it actually had like a mounting part attached to one of them. So I figured it was okay to mount something to those screws. As I make sure I drilled the holes really well and got them lined up perfectly. And I think. Ooh, that seems pretty smooth. Well, I think I can put some electricity in it. Let's see. That one's got two bars. Oh, this wire. Now, this is only an 18 volt battery. And I'm going to run this over 24 volts, but still be good enough to see that everything is balanced. Well enough. Right. Whoa, nice. Oh, that is so smooth. I mean, I can feel a, a little bit of vibration like it's moving, but. All right, not that I think there's anything particular I'll learn from doing this, but I wanted to run it with the blade on there for a minute. You know, just to check, I think everything will be fine, but you know. Yeah, looks good. I will, of course, have to take this little whatever cover off. But uh, yeah, that seems to be great. It's a little underpowered with that battery. But uh, yeah, everything seems to be running perfectly. I'm kind of really liking the aesthetic of this too. Like the motor, now that it's got all this paint off it, and it's just kind of rusty and greasy. Yeah. All right, we're gonna leave the blade off that thing so it's not dangerous. Now there was, there is one non-ideal thing about this setup, which is that it's going to pivot here, which means this whole thing has to pivot like that. And most of the weight is kind of far away from the pivot point, which means, you know, it'll be a little bit hard to pivot it. Although it's not that hard. I can do it by my hand. Um, however, keeping just the, the motor going right into the shaft, with no gears or belts or pulleys or anything like that should be the most efficient way to deliver the power to the blade so I think it's worth it even even having the, the motor like so far from the pivot point the last time I made a swing uh, swing blade lumber mill I had the motor up here and it had a pulley and the, the uh, what's this called the blade shaft also had a pulley so the motor was much more we're much closer to the pivot point. I can't speak clearly because my brain is thinking about mechanical things. All right, let's do some math. Figure out what I need to do to get a pivot point right here that's gonna be really solid. So this whole thing can pivot up and down and the blade will stay lined up. Like this, this can't bend at all. It's gotta be really, really strong and then connect to something about that far away. Where's my, where my blade? So the blade's there. It's gonna have to go on a frame that's wider than the blade. And I may at some point use a bigger blade. So I probably wanna leave a little bit extra space. So I need some sticks coming out here that, yeah. Oh, well I have one of these. 
I could make a hole and thread it, take this nut off and screw it right in. I think I only have one of those. Do I only have one of those? Oh yeah, I do have another one of those. It's right up there. I don't think I want to use that anyway though. Let's see what I've got around here. I'm just gonna go through all my, all my junk pile. Oh, these stupid things right here would be perfect. I already have a job. I was considering <laughs> carving a hole into this and putting the, the motor shaft right inside that. Probably because it would move the motor closer. But, nah. nah. Alright, if I took this thing and cut a chunk out of it, took that out, and then attach this right where it needs to go there and attach this right where it needs to go there. Would this part here keep that lined up with that? And then cut all this other junk off. Hmm. Because really I just need something that's going to keep this end lined up with this end in a straight line. All right, another possibility is use two of these, cut that off there, and just attach this right here. And then since I have two attachment points, you know, they, they don't have to be attached as well. And since there are two here, it'll keep it from moving that way. I'll just have to make sure I do something good to make sure they don't move that way. Huh. Bolt this into there, and then bolt this down into there. You know, after I cut those off, obviously, get it into the right spot. Jeez, maybe I should check the positioning of this, see if it fits. It looks like it does. Then you get a couple bolts in through here. Maybe two bolts that'll hold this into place. And then presuming this has a reasonably decent 90 degree surface, this one's probably better because it doesn't have those holes bending it. And I can bolt this right under there. Oh, that might be the way to do it. Oh crap, those are crooked. This piece here is going up. Same with that one. That one's not as bad, but Looks like they're made like that. I, I don't know, maybe they got bent. These other pieces, however, these guys. Well, these ones are lined up. Right, yeah. So maybe I cut this chunk off and use that. And this is actually thicker pipe anyway. Oh, the end of this one's bent. All right, what's the other end looking like? Oh, that end looks pretty straight. You know, I'm being stupid. This end, so this was originally a boat and it was or on a boat and it was held here and it lifted some heavy stuff over there. So this part got a little bent part here also got a little bent because it had weight on this and so I bent that a little. Both of them are a little bit bent. But it doesn't really matter. This section is straight so that's what I can use to make the pivot and all I have to do is just like take this as the reference. So when I cut a line here just make it 90 degrees to that. Not to this, just to that. Yeah, it's totally fine. I don't know where it is. Okay, I have a 12 noodle wide blade. So this has to at least be 12. However, well, I want to leave at least uh, you know, a bit of clearance anyway. But I may at some point want to put like a 16 inch 
blade on this. Yeah, I think I can get away with that. Who knows? Maybe I'll maybe I'll start it and it won't be going fast enough with a 12 inch, and it'll be too strong, and I'll have to switch to a 16. Anyway, I want to be able to fit a 16 noodle blade on here. So from the center here out to where this pivots has got to be, I guess, eight and a half noodles. So what's the total width here? Seven, seven and three quarters. So half of that would be, oh, come on brain, seven and a half and three eighths, so three and seven eighths, yeah. So out to eight, I would need to add four and an eighth. So maybe add four and five eighths. And I would put this at eight and a half noodles, there'd be 17 noodles wide, so I could fit a 16 inch blade in there without hitting the edge. All right, four and, four and five eighths imperial noodle units. about right. Okay, nice and straight. Brought to you by the letter H or Y. Ooh, now that looks like it might be a good thing. I don't need the whole piece, so I could just cut off a chunk. Except I think I need to make it two cuts. That's going to be annoying, but whatever. Because where they made these holes, it bent the metal, so this is kind of dog-eared up. And the same with over here. So I'm going to cut those ends off. And then I should have pretty flat there and pretty flat here. Oh, I keep having this feeling like like there's a hundred things I need to be doing. But obviously I can't do a hundred things at once and all these things that I need to do are, are like things that I would have to focus on totally. It's not even like I can multitask them. Right? I can't do this at the same time as... Sorry. Yeah, it, just, it doesn't really matter what I'm working on. I just got to pick something. Right now I'm doing this, making good progress. So I got to get my brain to chill out. You know? Chill out, brain. I know there's a lot of amazing stuff to do, a lot of stuff to get done. This is an important thing to get done. Let's do it. All right, come on, brain. <laughs> Uh, I just checked, you know, of course, after I cut it, the uh, angle here, that thing is not 90 degrees. It is off by quite a bit, actually. This, however, is, as far as my eyeballs can tell, pretty much dead on 90 degrees. Should I use this instead? Because this is thicker and the thing does need to be really rigid. And this already has holes and they're not necessarily where I want them to be. So I could just smash this with a hammer and kind of bend it back out, but that's not going to come out even. So no, maybe I should just... All right, I think I know what to do. I put this on here. And I smash this with a hammer. And it'll, it'll squeeze these pipes in a little bit. So they'll end up bending out a bit like that. That's not that much, obviously. It's exaggerating for visual purposes. But then when I bolt it down, it'll be like that. And I just need to make sure that surface is 90 degrees to this. All right, I, th I think that's what I'll do. Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm gonna get these on. It's about to get noisy in here. Okay.
How accurately can I eyeball this? Right. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's on there pretty good. Looks about right. Alright, how's this guy? Bubble Wheelie! Oh.